guys, Katrina here, the Zebra Wheelie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just finished in the Titanic Museum there. And I had a wonderful time. After speaking with their uh, marketing department, unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to film on their premises, but uh, they did not allow me to take lots of still pictures. So uh, enjoy. Here are a few exhibits on the history of Belfast. There's a big picture of Belfast City Hall and there are a few exhibits on the flax industry which was quite big at the time that Titanic was built. We are also very famous for linen. The main attraction in Titanic Belfast is this gantry ride that they have which is about 6 minutes long and it's uh, fully wheelchair accessible. Uh, they have elevators which you can see here and then they have this uh, pull out accessible car which I just about to manage to get on because I'm so tall uh, my legs were almost hanging over the side but I really enjoyed it really need to see more things like this here in Belfast. This ride featured rather heavily in Tripability's video. I was given this by Titanic Belfast staff, but I will give a link in the description to uh, Tripability's page if you want to go and check that out. Here are a few exhibits on the Titanic herself and the White Star Line, which was the company that owned her. They have a few examples of the carpet that was used on board. Also, they have a model which was really in detail and they are and they have a 3D like rooms sort of where you can take a walk through the Titanic. They also have a replica lifeboat which uh, is built to the exact measurements of the real life lifeboats and they also have examples of the life vests that were used as well.
course I had to go to the gift shop and I came across an obligatory press penny machine as well. So this is what I bought myself in the gift shop. I'm enjoying a bite to eat before I go home. I bought myself a peony. Rather a crossing, sorry. And over there is the Nomadic. It's actually one of Titanic's tenders. And it's the last remaining white star liner in the world. My ticket does include uh, entry into the uh, the nomadic, but I'm going to do that in a separate video because I believe it deserves its own video, really. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed it. My favourite part was the ride. I wish that more places in Northern Ireland would have things like that because of the accessibility features here. I'm going to give the Titanic Belfast Museum a 10 out of 10. Uh, as I said in Tripavality's video, they are always improving, which is good to see. They have a whole range of stuff for people with a whole range of different disabilities, like a, a chill-out tent for people with autism or ear defenders and such. If you do get a chance to come here once this, the pandemic is over, uh, go ahead, definitely. It's well worth your money. It's good to see good access for a change. Uh, that and things like that make the difference. They do have a change in places toilet as well, although you have to ask the staff for the key. But uh, I enjoyed myself. I'm going home now because I'm absolutely pooped. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please uh, give me a like, comment and subscribe by clicking below and remember to hit the notification bell as YouTube does not notify you when I upload a video unless you hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.